can't help but thinking that it's uh, this is the graveyard also for great unfulfilled hopes because so much could be achieved and this is the this is the country where Robert Fisher reached his peak it was not only his peak but it was one of the most glorious moments in the history of the game of chess and it's it could have ended differently so this is it's not for us to you know to uh, come up with hypothetical versions of alternative history but uh, um, it's still very sad so it's it's as if that's this in this graveyard uh, uh, we could you know feel that so many great hopes and expectations have been buried without being realized so it's a uh, it's all behind us, so it's, it's all the controversies. So what is left is that you know, uh, the unique contribution of Robert James Fisher in the game of chess, and I'm I'm here to to pay this tribute. It's 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 a huge sense of sadness because it's he stopped playing chess at age 29. It's just it's insane. So we just it's uh, uh, how much can be done? So how much could be achieved? You know, just if not for this, you know, terrible tragedy that put him away of the game of chess. And um, uh, it's it again now after everything is behind us. You know, all these controversies and all things that have been associated, unfortunately, with Fisher's name. Uh, what is left is just this, this, this sadness that uh, he's gone, 1972. And I also, what I couldn't help myself but thinking is I never met him, which is also quite amazing. So Cap was nine at age, uh, and at nine in 1972 when he won the title, but still, you know, uh, there were many opportunities technically, but unfortunately, again, it didn't happen. That's, uh, that's something that, of course, uh, I will be missing. 1972 definitely was one of the greatest moments in the history of chess. Uh, I don't think chess ever reached such a peak of popularity as 1972. Uh, and um, I could only, only dream of, of uh, using my abilities to make sure that this, uh, the heritage of 1972, and this is the uh, the memories of Fisher's uh, great rise uh, will be somehow, you know, repeated in the future. As I put in just in, in the book of condolences, it's it could only it could be a great dream of working together with with him to promote the game of chess. But you know, it didn't work out. So, but still, it's this legend I'm sure will accompany us in our quest for uh, making game of chess. Uh, as popular as Fisher wanted.